Hello, I'm Margaret from Durham Hens and I'd like to show you our Durham Hen House. The Durham Hen House is made of recycled plastic so it's very strong and long lasting. Plastic coops are less likely to get red mite than wooden ones and they don't require annual maintenance. They're very hygienic, they can be jet washed for cleaning. To open the coop there's a catch here, the door lifts down and over and rests against the roof. It has a wide access for cleaning. Everything inside here, the nest box, the perches and drink and feeder stands all lift out and we found that a snow shovel is very effective to take out the shavings and it's literally a two minute job to clean out, to, to use a snow shovel, take the shavings out and put new ones in. This corner here is nice and dark when the lid is down and this is the nest box. Hens do like somewhere dark and they want to feel safe when they're laying an egg, so they do like laying in these nest boxes. The drinker and feeder stands are there to lift the food and water off the ground, so they're not going to kick the shavings into those and spoil the water and food. There are two perches and these are made of broad pieces of wood. The wood is very good for the hen's feet and less slippy than plastic, which is why we use that. On the front of the coop, we have the pop hole. The door has a handle to make it easy and to open and close. And there's a notch here that helps to hold it in place securely through the day. Also on the front and back, we have carrying handles the coop weighs about 60 kilos, so it's quite heavy. It's not going to blow around in windy, exposed areas. But two people can lift it and move it if need be. These also double as air vents, and air can also get in through the roof. There's a gap on each side. And if it's a warm day, this section can be left open, so you have an additional air gap there which helps to keep the coop cool on a hot day. To close the coop, that slides underneath and there's a little catch here. And a padlock can be added for additional security. Underneath the coop, there is a solid floor and a framework of about four centimetres. So there's an air gap that keeps the floor from the ground and helps keep the coop warm in winter.